Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia from EarthyScrap.blogspot.com and EarthyScrap on Facebook. And this week, Tombow USA will be cross promoting with Freckle Funk. On the left side, I'm going to be using an October afternoon page protector, and all the photos and cards are 3x3. Three three. I actually took uh, the cards from the Happy Kids that are 3x4 and cut them down to 3x3. Three three. So, in this spread, I'm going to be showing you how to use Tombow ad adhesives with many of the Freckle Fawn products. I get their kits every month and I love to use them so I really know what works best. And for acetate, my favorite, actually for most things, <laughs> my favorite is the Tombow Extreme Adhesive. And it's clear so you will see it showing through uh, your uh, piece of acetate. But you shouldn't use that on... Uh, texture cardstock because the texture will show and remember, remember that when you use the extreme adhesive you have to do a capital L motion and cut the adhesive uh, to the side since it's so thick it needs to be like cut and that swift motion to the side cuts it out and I'm just adding some enamel dots and epoxy stickers from my stash, I have a big freckle font stash, and I also love the pouches. I keep everything separate there the alphas, uh, the stickers, and I always keep the latest kit together. I don't uh, until I get the new one, I don't put everything where it belongs. So, those sticky tabs are from the June kit. Here, I'm deciding which felt alphas I should use, and I opted to use the orange ones. And I'm gonna glue them with the Mono Aqua Liquid Glue, which is my favorite for felt, and also other embellishments uh, that you you can also use it for acetate too because it dries clear. So, and I since this is a, a sticky note, I wanted to make it permanent, so I'm gonna be using the Mono Adhesive. Permanent Plus is the newest um, adhesive Tombow has out and it's really easy to change you're just gonna uh, flip the switch on the back to unlock it you're gonna open it you're gonna take uh, the new adhesive out of the package you're gonna flip the, the guard that it has on the bottom and you're gonna slip it in switch on the back and it's locked super easy and also this uh, the tip of this glue glides to the projects like if you push it it will go back so it's good if you have something uh, textured or with that it's bulky you don't have to put other glue you can use your adhesive runner and there I use an arrow and I love the the arrow sheet I've bought it like four times because I really like it they're really versatile and that little batch that uh, that's it made in fabric actually I like to glue it with the extreme adhesive and the extreme adhesive is really good for when you want to glue onto the page protector I also use it for flare when I put it outside of my page protector I don't like to put it inside because it gets bulky and I use the Tombow uh, dual brush pens to color these awesome alphas also from Freckle Fawn these, these are one of my favorite alphas from them and these numbers I love them I have to buy way more and these um, alphas I think they're really old but I, I love them I really love this kind of block alphas and these are pretty new I haven't used those and I don't know why because they're really cool and in that photo my daughter is playing with washi tape she's a fan too she likes to stack it and then push it so they go everywhere and so it counts as an uh, uh, a toy for them for her to play with you know stacking and that's you know educational that's so it's it's a good purchase and here my daughter is using a Tombow mechanical pen to write a little journaling out. Make sure you involve your kids once in a while. I know it's hard because they get to your room and they want to do 
everything and that's my journaling I put one number in each photo and then I type out what each photo was I hear him using some freckle font wash his strips and also uh, you can use the mono twin permanent from Tombow to write on washi. That's my favorite thing to use to use washi and the and the mono twin. So I don't know why I didn't do it in the spread, but I mostly do it on my planner. And this, behold, is my wood veneer collection. And I'm I did to say that about two thirds of that collection it's freckle fawn. And those faces are my favorite. I've bought those like three times too. And there are lots of things from Freckle Fawn that I bought many times uh, because you know they're they're good for everything. And here I'm gonna use the Jumbo Mono Multi Liquid Blue to emboss. And my mistake was not using that slim embossing powder from Colorbox or Clear Snap. It, my mistake was not using a um, brush to uh, make the glue really smooth so at the end it's still a little bulky and it looks kind of funny which works for the photo because my daughter is in the tub but in the future I'm gonna use a, a brush I was just being lazy <laughs> but just so you know you can use your Tumbo Mono Multi Liquid glue to emboss and also for foiling I use it more for foiling yeah, and these kind of um, acrylic words, you can use either the mono multi liquid glue or the mono aqua. But I glue everything with the extreme adhesive, like even sequins, because I'm lazy and you know <laughs> that way you don't have for, to wait for things to glue. So I always use the the extreme adhesive. Oh, and remember that some of them have like a little protector, so you should peel it off. See, I'll just tie the glue around, and it's clear. So if one actually goes a little out of bounds, you're not gonna notice. And this is my currently card from Are You Christing? And actually, Christing is on the Freckle Fawn team, and she's awesome. You should check out her stuff too. That's one of my favorite cards to use, and I'm just adding a little washi on the sides. And I don't know if you saw my little Freckle Fawn washi basket. And that's the um, the journaling my daughter wrote. I'm loving the new Mono Plus. I I already run out of one and I see myself running out of another one soon there it's just I I just get stuck in one glue and then I keep using it and using it and it's all good this is more for fun washi actually one of my favorite washies the the one with little faces I all, out of all my favorite washi I am I'm willing to say that like 9 out of 10 is Freckle Fawn. I'm obsessed. And here I'm gonna write some journaling about my baby sister turning 20. How old that makes me feel. And also my little brother too. When I moved to the States and I left he was a tween. And when I went back he was like a hairy teenager. And it was so <laughs> weird. And this is how it all looked. Are my three I'm sorry about the glare that day was really cloudy here in Maryland it rained for like three days straight which made it difficult to film but I think I hid the, the glare as best as I could but it was really fun to make I, I love to use freckle fawn um, in my projects and of course I always use tumbo so I'm gonna write in my post at the tumbo blog an, an adhesive, adhesives 101 lesson on what to use on different freckle font embellishments. So if you are a subscriber and you are confused about what to use, make sure you check out that post because I'm going to talk uh, quite a bit about that. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with other Freckle Fawn and Tumbo fans. 
And if you want to see more, subscribe and also follow me around social media. Uh, you can follow my blog at earthyscrap.blogspot.com. I'm Earthy Scrap on Facebook and I'm Jenny Garcia and everywhere else on the web. Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, Pinterest, all of those. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye.